हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो की हाल चाल आई होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग गुड इन दिस वी गोन सी अ प्रॉब्लम मैक्सिमम पॉइंट्स आफ्टर एनिमी बैटल्स दिस इज प्रॉब्लम नंबर टू प्रॉब्लम नंबर वन थ्री एंड फोर ऑफ टूडेज बाय वीली कॉन्टेस्ट आर ऑलरेडी लाइव यू कैन जस्ट गो एंड वॉच इट नाउ कमिंग बैक टू दिस स्पेसिफिक प्रॉब्लम अगेन द प्रॉब्लम द वे इट इज रिटर्न मेक्स इट a medium problem it is not a medium problem understanding how the problem itself is saying that is the only part so it simply says that we are given an integer array called as enemy energies denoting the energy values of various enemies now you also have some energy that is called as current energy which is the energy which you have initially now you have initially zero points and all the enemies are unmarked remember these two things points and unmarked you have to make sure i don't know why the balloons come but yeah you have to make sure that ultimately you can choose some enemy considering it is not marked and also you have to maximize your number of points now you can perform either of the following operations any number of times to gain points maksad nahi bolna hai your prime aim is to gain points now the first operation is choose any unmarked enemy i such that your energy should be more than his energy you can do one thing as soon as you choose that specific enemy you will gain one point and also your energy will be reduced by the enemy energy there is nothing said about marking that enemy here that is a prime thing which means that with this option 1 you will have let's say whatsoever enemy energy you will have your own let's say current energy and this is the enemy energies you have this is the enemy energies you have you will take any of you will take any of the enemy energy which is less than your energy you again your energy will be reduced by let's say this is e uh, let's say this is e0 e1 e2 e3 and e4 so you will choose any one of them any one of the enemy energy which is lesser than your energy your energy will reduce will become ce your your ce it will become ce minus any of the enemy energy which you have chosen make sure that your ce should be more than equal to enemy energy and then your points will increase by 1 your points will increase by 1 make sure you can only choose a enemy which is not yet or which is unmarked to the unmarked enemy but after applying this operation the enemy is also not yet marked so you can repeatedly choose the same enemy energy now just by reading this problem up to up to this point so far don't you get a hint of one very basic stuff that you have this current energy you will have to choose one of the enemy whose energy is lesser than you and then you have to decrease your energy you will have to decrease your energy by that specific enemy enemy energy and you want to repeat this process many number of times so you will try to make sure that you are reducing this enemy energy and you are re re reducing this value which is as minimum as possible again these are all the inferences which i am deriving by just reading the first statement so i realize up to so point that so as to max so as to maintain maximum amount of current energy for me i will choose minimum enemy energy let's say this e2 has the smallest enemy energy so i will keep on repeatedly choosing this ei itself because again considering i will choose it i will decrease my enemy energy i will increase my point again i will choose this i will decrease my enemy energy by this e2 itself again and i again increase my point and i can keep on doing it because i have not yet marked this okay so far this is done now coming on to the second operation if you have at least one point 
there's a catch so considering you should have performed operation one at least once only then you can come to operation two this is what it means that you have at least one point and when you can perform operation one at least once you can perform operation one at least once considering that your your current energy should be more than the smallest enemy energy which is e2 in our case which is the smallest enemy energy it should be more than equal to in that case only you can perform at least one operation if again so we realize one thing very sure very obviously that if my current energy if it is more than equal to if it is more than equal to my smallest let's say minimum energy then only i can perform operation one so if it is less if my current energy is less than minimum enemy energy itself in the very first place i cannot gain any point at all return on zero because for sure i cannot apply operation two because i will never be apply operation one at the first place because of this condition and the return on zero now if not let's say uh, we gained one point after gaining one point you can choose an unmarked enemy i by choosing this option again you can choose any of the unmarked enemy then your energy will increase by that specific energy and then the enemy is marked that's it that's it so what you did so as to increase your current energy you will choose any of the enemy you will choose any of the enemy and will increase and will increase your enemy energy and, and will increase your current energy by that specific enemy energy and then now you will mark it and whenever something is marked it can never be used for gaining your points so what's what's that one thing which struck to your mind the very one one thing which struck to your mind is that your task is your task is to use the minimum enemy energy so you, you will keep on using the minimum enemy energy for other enemy energies you will use them you will mark them to just increase your current energy you will increase your current energy by the remaining energy by, by the remaining enemy energies and with the help of smallest enemy energy you will keep on gaining your points this is the simple greedy approach which we have to take now just for a dry run or like just for a dry run we can simply dry run with this example 2 2 3 now ultimately my current energy was 2 firstly i again i i i grab the minimum enemy minimum enemy energy which is this 2 i know one thing for sure first thing first if condition is that my current energy if it is less than minimum enemy energy i'm done i cannot do anything I have to simply return a zero but in this case i can see it is more so okay i can try my process and my process simply says that for the remaining energies simply increase it simply add them so let's say if i if i keep it as it is if i if i simply add them plus two plus three because other energies will actually help me increasing my current energy and i will simply mark them as soon as, as soon as something is marked it can never it can never be chosen can never be chosen again cool so i have increased it it it, it became a 3 plus 2 5 plus 2 7 with this 7 how many times i can reduce to that is the only question because every time i reduce a en enemy energy i increase my point by 1 so 7 7 minus 2 which is 5 5 minus 2 which is 3 3 minus 2 which is 1 so ultimately sorry ultimately three times i was able to reduce this simply saying 7 by 2 7 by 2 so my answer my count of points will be 7 by 2 itself okay let's see the next process next one uh okay example number two uh the example number two was the enemy energy was just two and your current energy was 10 how many times can you reduce two from a 10 again if I would have had other energies, I would have reduced them. Or I would have added them in my current energy. But as you can see, I don't have anything else. So I cannot add them technically. So I added nothing, which means a zero. Thus, my count of points will be 10 by 2. How many times? 
my 2 can be reduced from my 10 this is 10 by 2 which means 5 times and that's my answer so in this case the answer will be 5 in this case the answer will be 3 as you can see 7 by 2 is 3 and that's your case so what you did first task is finding the minimum energy and comparing it finding the minimum energy it's a simple o of n operation finding the minimum energy and then comparing that your minimum energy should not be more than your current energy if that's the case you can never apply operation one you can never apply operation two you're gone we're done else you have to find the sum you have to find the sum of all the elements except the minimum element because that sum you will add in your you will add in your this current energy right so what i will do i'll simply uh, if i go back i'll simply have the sum of all the elements but then i will subtract the sum of the minimum energy to so ask to get the sum of all the elements apart from the minimum element now when this portion is done i should make sure that in my sum i should also add my current energy or i can do vice versa also that in my current energy i should add my sum and ultimately my answer will be current energy by my minimum energy by my minimum energy and that is my answer as you can see in this case i added my sum and i returned sum by minimum energy you can also do you can add your sum in your current energy and then return your current energy by your minimum element or minimum energy itself time used here will equal will be equal to o of n here and o of n here thus o of 2 or you can say o of n only space used will be o of 1 because you're not using any extra space at all thus this is your most optimal answer i hope you guys got it i hope you guys got to know that in problem was easy but just inferring things from every operation was the main task cool bye take care i hope you guys got it see you goodbye take care do join on LinkedIn. do sub do subscribe yeah do like it have the new bye bye